It's the flea market falcon here. I soar high above the swamp meat and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Got a bunch of buck sets here. You found the tux box, huh? That's cool. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are all series. Nice. And series and stuff. How much are you asking? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to vary because some of them have two CDs in it, some of them have, you know, like uh -huh. a whole set of that. It's going to have, you know. Uh huh. Found some pretty good ones oh, okay. so far. Yeah, come on. Thank you. The Hold Office in. Complete uh, Series. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How much are you thinking on these ones? Uh, 15. 15? Should be a good one, two, three. For the Blu rays themselves, yeah. we'll piece, but... Okay, awesome. How much for everything? <laughs> for all of these? Yeah. With that, uh, 60. Okay, uh. Spit ball in there. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, a fair price for with all that, 45 for the rest of this. Thing. What do you do, 50? Because yeah. I kind of picked the ones I really want, and these are kind of just extras. Those are the ones you're going to sell and make your money back for those. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. I know I do the same thing for myself sometimes. Uh, well, if, I mean, if you want these two, they're about to be total 60 for those and 50 for them. Okay, I'll, t I'll give you 60. That's fair. Yeah, cool. Heck yeah. Nice start to the day. Got all these Blu-rays, the TV box sets for $60. Rudy Raymore box set. Oh yeah. Gundam Wing, a man called Horse. That looks cool. I've been meaning to watch these. Beavis and Butthead Volume 4. These are the ones that came out like 10 years ago. Haven't watched any of these. Got some Xbox games over here. Are these yours? Yeah. How much are you asking? Five apiece. Five? Yeah. That's what I got left. I had uh -huh. about a dozen or more. Oh, nice. Sorry to be a pain. I would do three bucks each. Uh, how many? Just two? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, double barrel. Got these for three dollars each, and this one came with cheat codes. Yippee! Good for you. Got a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Steelbook Blu-ray. Oh, 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray, nice. I for sure am buying this. Look at these guys. Hello. Got a bunch of game stuff here. How much are the games? Uh Three a piece, unless I have one of the ones that got marked otherwise. Okay, thank you. Got a binder. Digimon. Animal Crossing. Oh no, scribble nuts. The Warriors, nice. How much do you want? Darksiders 2, new and sealed. I don't think this is worth anything, but still kind of cool. Okay, so these right here, 18? 18. So $18 for these, good deal there. Digimon, that's probably the rarest one. Nice. Future Cop LAPD. A s I can't even pronounce that. A Stone Nisha story. A Stone Ishia. A Stone Ishia story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Warriors, awesome game. Skate 3, awesome game. Darksiders 2, brand new. Blue Dragon. I don't think this is rare like it looks like it would be, but I don't think it is. Uh, but still worth picking up for the price. And grab the DVD. Almost overlooked this one. Did you do two bucks on this one? So happy to grab this for myself for $2. It looks similar to a game on PlayStation 1 that I like called Intelligence Cube. Looks like it's the sequel. Man, I don't give a rat's donkey. What a cute little donkey! 
These Wii hunting games are a dollar each. Might as well grab them. <laughs> There's another dog! Santa, you you. He's kind of scaring me, to be honest. <laughs> Wonderful time. More little doggies. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy. Who is that guy? Billy Bartless, the guy that was in the uh, outfit. That's him right there. He played Alf? He played Alf. This guy right here? Yeah. Wow. Trust me, that was my childhood. I still got a shitload of Alf. I would have kept that doll, but I already got it. <laughs> nice. I've got the old Burger King ones with the little records still attached to their hand. I've got, I think, four. So, Billy Bartlett, no relation to R.A. Bartlett, one of the theater weirdos. Little people wrestlers. There's a guy kind of famous from where I'm from. His name was Half Nelson. He was I've heard a, of him. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I've heard Half of him. Nelson. Yeah. Got a $5 elf here. He's seen better days, but still good deal on him. Played by Billy Bartlett, apparently. AV cables, I always grab these. If they're cheap, they look brand new. Except for they're dirty, but never used before. They were a dollar. I sell VCRs, and these are good to have as extras. This was two bucks. This cookbook was a dollar. Most cookbooks don't have any value, but this sells for about 30, so awesome deal there. Let's head to the next spot. Hey, what's up? You don't sell corn on the cob, do you? No. No. How much are the DVDs? $1? Nice. I'll give you one free, six for five. Six for five? I just want to grab these two. So it didn't score any corn, but did get these for $1 each. Both of these have some value. The Passion of the Christ, that's new and sealed. I'll buy this $2 board game. No Escape. For some reason, I thought this movie was called Fortress. Anyways, the year is 2022. That's actually helpful. Thank you, No Escape. For a dollar, I'll grab this autograph CD by a guy named Jeff Jensen. They have some $1 DVDs over here. They also have Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is about a guy trying to find amphetamines to an end. <laughs> Grab these two right here, both new and sealed. This archive collection, Perry Mason, was a good find. But that just about does it for this flea market. Not too much at this one this week. Here at the Silver Moon Drive-In, you're probably wondering, what's the Flea Market Falcon's preferred mode of transportation? And it's this vehicle right here. And yes, that is my preferred mode of transportation, but not my actual mode of transportation because I can't afford that car. Got some 25 cent CDs here, Biohazard. These ones up here are new and sealed. They are BMG Club, which you have to look out for. Those aren't worth as much, but still for 25 cents, I'll grab a bunch of these. Got some DVDs over here. Some actual pretty good ones from what I can tell, but it's kind of hard to get over there. So I know there's a ton of sealed ones in there. I got all Rob Zombies, three. I wish that Pinocchio's Revenge was in better shape, man. Yeah. It's, it's a rare one. Wow. That Scarface was really cool, too, man. It's got some inserts in there, like some cards and shit. Never been opened. Yeah, oh, nice, nice. How much for the book? Dollar on the. What about like the comics and stuff? Uh, these bucks right here, two bucks each on those. The uh -huh. comics I do a dollar a piece on. The books, two bucks a piece. Those are some rare books in there. They're from the 80s and 70s. Thank you. Got a bunch of cool comics here. I think all of those go together. It's like a, uh -huh. it's like a game or something. I don't yeah. Know. I think there's some cards that go to it behind you. There's like four cards over there on top of that green thing. Those go with those. those oh, nice. They all came together, so I'm, I'm assuming they all go together. And then I think there's a like a little score sheet or something, maybe under the last three right here, these books. 
There's like a, a score. Yeah, right there. I think that goes with it too. And since you, if you get a bunch of them, man, I'll work you a good deal, man. Don't worry about it. I just want to get rid of this stuff. Nice, nice. On to the next. <laughs> you can set it up here if you want. Got all these. Okay. Would you do 20 bucks? I do 25. 25? I told you two a piece on yeah. them, right? Yeah. Okay. Know, so there's like 20 magazine books there. Yeah. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a good deal. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. So for $25, good deal there. Got like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes DVD. Leprechaun Pot of Gore Collection featuring Leprechaun in the Hood. I've never actually seen that, but I want to see it. Pumpkinhead, I don't think I own that. A Scarface Steelbook. Scarface is actually a remake. This is the original, and it has, you know, the 80s one right there. An Avengers Steelbook. This is a Marvel pen and paper role-playing game, like Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty neat. He also had the DC version of that, basically. Old school Judge Dredd trade paperbacks. And of course, had to pick up this Castlevania Curse of Darkness strategy guide. Hey, what's going on? No signs today? No. The viewers love the signs. They're a big hit. Oh. If you had to just come up with one off the top of your head, do you think you could maybe give us one? Nah. Okay. And I can't really concentrate because my crush didn't come today. Oh no, sorry to hear that. By crush, do you mean crush soda? No. You said, you said your crush wasn't here? Do you mean the orange soda drink? I know you're kidding. <laughs> they got some Easton Press hardcover books here, like leather covers. Five dollars, you said, right? Yep, five each. Thank you. Uh -huh. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. They also had Moby Dick. That one's just not worth quite as much, but this one I'll do pretty good on. Another Castlevania strategy guide. What are the odds? And the DVD set called Heartland. How much are these? Everything over here is ten cents. Ten cents each. Holy smokes, 10 cents each. Gonna grab these right here. Got these five things, got a dollar. I don't need any change. Appreciate the deal, thank you. Seriously though, 10 cents each, holy smokes. Got a bunch of stuff over here in bins. I'm assuming most of it is a dollar. I doubt this laser disc player is a dollar. This is something that if it works, it's worth a lot. If it's not, it's not really worth buying. This is what I love to see at flea markets, just a bunch of stuff and they don't really care what it is. They're just trying to get rid of all of it for a dollar. Got a bunch of magazines over here and the magazines was this, The Crow graphic novel. Got a Miller High Life beer tray. Got some VHS here, class of 1999 too. That's kind of funny because the first Class of 1999 itself is a sequel to Class of 1984. Hello, is everything like a set price? Yeah, there's no question. It's going to be like, I'll tell you the price when you check out. Okay, so like books, for instance, and so like DVDs. Right here, you and got stuff. a movie, so this movie's a dollar. Uh huh. This book's a dollar. Uh huh. This right here is two dollars. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Thank you. I'm interested in these two albums right here. One band called Crass, but I don't think that's the punk band Crass. I think that's a different band. Uh, and then this one right here, Lazy Magnet. How much are you asking on this unit right here? $3. I will do... That's $2 for this. I'll do... This I'm, thinking, I'm thinking 40 bucks on the Pioneer Laser Disc. Laser for this, what are you thinking? How much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Okay, I'll think about that. Okay. Thank you. I'll put yes. it back there. Yeah. How, how about, you, what, we have laser discs. Did you see them over there? Yeah. How about 15 for the laser disc? Uh, I'll think about it. If it does, if it's broken, it's useless to me. Oh, and then... I, I'm sure it definitely works. I got a whole, I mean, I got a whole, like, I've got like probably 10 different ones and that would like was wrapped up. So I know that one works. Okay. If it didn't work, like I said, do, it would, uh, I'll do 10. I can give you my number. Are you going to plug it in? If you want to try it right now, you can plug it in. Okay. Nice, so for about 25 bucks, I got the two albums, the VHS, the Crow Trade paperback, Beavis and Butthead and other MTV cards, a wrestling DVD, the Miller High Life tray, 
and a laser disc player that looks like it works. It opens. So heck yeah. DVDs over here. Five dollars. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. So got a pretty good deal of that lady for one dollar each. Command and Conquer Red Alert. Some DVDs that are kind of hard to find, new and sealed. And this Seinfeld. It looks like it would be a DVD, but it's a notepad with notes from season four. I'm gonna go back to those laser disc guys and see if they'll cut me a deal. There's a bunch of stuff I wanna buy, I just don't wanna pay a dollar for. It's just kinda not worth it for me. But if I can get it cheap, it would be awesome. So I tested that player, it powers on at least. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. Well, I figured it worked. I mean, he's, yeah. he's been taking care of Very good, very good. How firm are you on the prices? Because there are some things I would buy for, say, 50 cents each, but just... I, I try not to sell anything for under a yeah. dollar. Uh -huh. Unless you bundle them up, man, and uh -huh. we make it a dollar. Okay. I'm not, I'm not carrying paint in pocket. Yeah, no, I hear you. I would buy a lot, but... Yeah. Make a big pile, man. We'll work the same. Okay. So I'm glad I went back to that guy. Got a pretty good deal. I probably shouldn't have even bought these VHS. They're not really worth anything, but uh, still kind of cool. Once a thief, John Woo. I've seen this. This one actually looks pretty cool. I love these low budget cheesy action movies. Westworld, that's a cool cover right there. Got a couple albums here. This one actually seems pretty obscure. It's like a novelty comedy album. This one, folk songs of the 21st century, mass production. I think in the future I want to have like an antique mall booth but charge reasonable prices, so like all the records would be like five bucks or so. So I'm kind of stockpiling ones now, so if I can get them for, you know, 50 cents, uh, it's worth it uh, for me. Got a few more albums, Mary Poppins, Vaughn Mason and Crew. Now these are music laser discs, got a bunch of these, Adam Ant, Brian Adams, Cool Cats, Working Stiffs, Tangerine Dream, Tangerine Dream is awesome. Another Tangerine Dream. Living Color, sweet. Duran Duran. Got a Star Trek movie right here. Yeah. Some more movies. Robin Hood. Nice. Man, with the smile on your face, you must have found the jackpot. Yeah, I did pretty good. <laughs> good job, man. Have a good day, bud. Thank you. Yeah. What's that? Never heard of it. Tilt. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'll give you two dollars for it. So what's going on at home now? I wanted to show off some of the things I picked up. I didn't really get to show them off too much in the video, but like here are the DVDs I picked up uh, from that one guy. There was a bunch of uh, Blu-rays and these are actually the least impressive thing about the lot. Uh, he seemed to think that these had value. They don't really. Random Blu-rays like are the same as like DVDs. Most of them aren't worth that much. These two do have some resale value. So I was glad to pick these up. I basically paid like $20 per bin. So excellent deal there. Got some movie and TV box sets over here. The Dirty Harry movies, Rocky, Batman. Over here we have like Die Hard Sopranos. This is kind of frustrating. It's every Sopranos except for uh, missing season six, part one, as season six, part two. Wild Boys, seasons three and four. Surprisingly, that's out of print and hard to find. That's in demand, Ultraman. A lot of these uh, do have some resale value. Some I'll keep for myself. This is kind of interesting, Eastbound and Down, uh, complete series, but it's region two. And of all these DVDs, this is the only region two one. Black Sails, Gollum, I guess that's kind of like a behind the scenes of Lord of the Rings. Beverly Hills Cop. I watched Beverly Hills Cop 3 for the first time a few weeks ago. It's not a great movie, but I do like how it takes place at an amusement park. So if you're into that, you might like Beverly Hills Cop Part 3. Charles Bronson box set. Uh, I've seen all of these except for I've never even heard of this one. Kin Jite. Ten to Midnight, that's an awesome movie. The Office. I'm kind of conflicted about this one because I'm not sure if I should keep this for myself or if I should sell it. It's one of those shows that's on TV all the time, so I don't really need to own it. But it is one of the best shows ever, so I do want it on my shelf. 
Got some more TV stuff over here, all in the family. You don't see those in the wild too often. Futurama, Transformers, nice. The A-Team. Dukes of Hazard. those have a little bit of value, Batman. I didn't really show these off very much. These MTV cards are highly collectible. This was a great find. Uh, most of these are Beavis and Butthead, but it does have some other MTV shows. Uh, the Head, I remember that one. The Max, I remember that too. I don't think I ever heard of this one though, the Brothers Grunt. But yeah, very happy to find these Beavis and Butthead cards. I separated these cards right here and it's almost a complete set. It's only missing two cards. So I think I'll sell the almost complete set and then keep these ones for myself. I do collect Beavis and Butthead comics. I'm looking for some of the later issues, which are very hard to find. And here's the Laserdisc player I picked up. Even came with a remote. Play, you hit play right there. Laserdisc play and okay so this is interesting because I, I was going to show how it doesn't work because I tested this like five times already and it just wouldn't start and you know, so I whip out the camera to show it and it does start. It doesn't really bother me that it doesn't work as it should because when I buy things like that, I always try to pay the price. Oh, what's it worth if it is broken? So I just assume everything is broken when I buy things at the flea market. So I paid 15 bucks. It works one out of every five times. That's good enough, right? <laughs> I did get a really good deal on the laser discs though. These music ones do have value. I didn't really realize that. I just wanted to grab a bunch to go with the player. And yeah, these music ones are awesome. The movies themselves aren't worth too, too much. It turns out this one, Crass, is the punk band, but I didn't expect the street punk band to have such a mundane looking album, like that album cover and 10 notes on a summer's day. It sounds like it's like light rock, like James Taylor or something. So the best thing I found from those guys is this one right here, Folk Songs for the 21st Century. I bought it because it looked unique. I didn't really know anything about it. But it turns out this guy wrote a song called Crawl Out from the Fallout, which is in one of the Fallout video games. Uh, so this is like in demand now, and it's a first pressing. Uh, so it's very hard to find. So great deal there. I'm very happy with my pickups. I do appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe. See you next time around. Caw, 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 caw.